I just got a phone call from an old friend. He's editing a video, but he's doing things wrong. Luckily, I have the instructions right here in a letter. So let's hop in the car and drive as fast as possible. Ah, wait, do you guys notice something? We're moving super fast, but there's no motion blur. Ah, wait, let's make a quick stop in Premiere. To create the illusion that we're moving fast, we need radial blur, but we don't have that in Premiere. So we need to create our own. To do that, find the directional blur effect and drag it onto your clip. Increase the blur length to whatever looks good for you, the amount that depends on the type of video and how fast you're going. Now click the pen tool from the directional blur effects and to draw a mask starting from the top left corner, going to the direction the car is going. Then adjust the blur direction until it travels to the middle point. Then increase the feather to blend it all together and now do the same thing for the other four corners. Now you see this ugly black border. Now to remove that, simply scale up the video until it's gone. Now to get the feeling of speed, we're gonna distort the image. So find the lens distortion and drag it above the other effects. Otherwise, we'll ruin the direction of the blur. Increase the curvature just a little bit. And this will help create a warpy effect. Finally, that is so much better. Now, we don't have much time, so we need to find a shortcut. I can't go through mini land because I'm too big, but I can make myself look small using some blur. Now, to make myself or the city look like a miniature shot, drag the Gaussian blur effect onto the clip. And when you create a close up shot with an open aperture, you will have a shallow depth of field or lots of background blur except for the object and focus. Now, if we could do that with the city, the cars and the people, they will look miniature too. So increase the blurriness to something around 25. We can always change this later. Then click on the ellipse mask from the blur effect and drag it to the point that you want to have in focus. Imagine you're focusing with your camera now. Once you have it selected, then invert the mask. Next, increase the feather of the mask. For me, 250 works fine. And this is a great start, but to make it look even better, go to the window menu on top and find Lumetri color. At the bottom, decrease the amount of vignette. This will make the focus part of the video even more prominent. And in a creative tab, increase the sharpness of the video. This will make the focused parts even more detailed. Because normally when you film up close up objects, they will appear sharper. You know, adding sharpness, creating blur effects and whatnot is really cool. But you know who else takes that idea to a whole new level? Well, Luminar Neo, which is today's sponsor. It's a super user friendly photo editing software that has all the tools you need to edit your photos. They're in a innovative AI driven tools and power photographers to express the true beauty they imagined. Like here, I have a picture where the camera and the phone are a little bit out of focus. Good thing we can fix that with the super sharp AI. Click on masking and select the objects. Then go to adjustments and select the amount of sharpness. Voila, it's that easy. Doing a sky replacement has never been easier before. Expand the sky AI and choose one of these. You can then further tweak the settings to make it look perfect. As you can see, the reflections on the rocks are also taken care of, which is incredible. And when I'm making thumbnails, I always mask myself out manually. Stop doing that because now with Luminar Neo, you can remove the background of a photo in just a few clicks. That saves me so much time. Even with my crazy hair, that's no problem. Have some noise in your image. It can be hard to deal with, but not for Luminar Neo. Just select the adjustments needed for the image and boom. And you can actually do so much more with Luminar Neo, such as enhancing portrait images, sliding in magic lights, upscaling your image in no time, and you can even create your own HDRs with the HDR merge function. Luminar Neo is a must have for everybody working with photos from photographers to content creators. If you want to level up your photo game, then get Luminar Neo now with the best deal before the price race. Go check out the first link in the description down below and don't forget to use the coupon Premier Basics at checkout for an exclusive 10% discount on a Luminar Neo yearly subscription. All right, we're back on the road. Oh, look at these beautiful oil barrels. I need to take a picture here or maybe a video. Awesome. Oh, no. No, I accidentally filmed myself with a closed aperture. This means a big depth of field or there's no background blur. Everything is in focus. To fix that, duplicate the clip and go to the effects controls. Move the playhead to the first frame of the clip. Then in the opacity, click on the pen tool and mask out the talent very carefully. Next, we're gonna track the mask, but first click the wrench tool and make sure that preview is enabled. Then click the play button and let Premiere Pro do its thing. You can now see that the mask is being tracked forward. Now we have two clips, one of me and one of the background. So find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it onto the background. Increase the blurriness until it looks natural. This looks cool and all, but as you can see, the barrels behind me have the same amount of blur than the entire background. 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 
<laughs> this is wrong, so move the clip of the talent one track higher and duplicate the background layer. And move the playheads back to the beginning and set the blurriness to zero. Draw a mask around the barrels and like before, you wanna track this as well forwards. And when you're done, increase the blurriness. This time it needs to be less because it's closer to the lens. Now if needed, you wanna change the feather a bit of the mask to blend the blur better with the background. All right, we're almost at the destination. I know, my car broke down, crap, and I can't start it. Ah, oh, damn it, now my engine is blown. How am I going to deliver this letter in time? Hey, is that a mailbird? Here, take this letter to my friend. Now his video will look amazing because he can implement these three blur tricks. But there's so much more that you can do with masking, so definitely check out the video here on my left to find out more about some secret masking tricks. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay creative.